Less than a third of Alabamians are fully vaccinated right now. A far cry from the 70% needed to reach a level of immunity needed to resume a normal way of life. We've cried about Alabama needs more. We need more vaccine supply. Uh, you know, we need proportionally more because we have more we live in, we have more poverty in Alabama, more chronic medical conditions in Alabama. So now we've gotten it. And now we need people to take advantage of it. Governor Kay Ivey is urging Alabamians to step up and get vaccinated to avoid losing available doses to other states where the demand is higher, something the Alabama Department of Public Health wants to avoid. This is our vaccine. This, this is Alabama's vaccine. I'm very possessive about this vaccine. We need to use this vaccine in the state of Alabama to protect our state, to protect our citizens, to keep our businesses operational, to keep our kids in school. The more people who avoid getting vaccinated, the greater the risk for future outbreaks of the virus. It's always great if we can be in the lead, because um, unfortunately there's been a, a narrative where sometimes we're always at the bottom of healthcare outcomes and the bottom of vaccine uptake. Doctors say this simply isn't the time to look the other way. If you have questions or concerns, talk to your doctor immediately. Because if this vaccine is taken from the state of Alabama and used in another state, then we may not be able to get that supply back. Of course, the vaccine is free of charge and in many places, an appointment is no longer necessary. Pfizer's vaccine could be made available to children 12 and older as soon as sometime this coming week. In Birmingham, Chip Scarborough, WBTM 13.